I'm Joseph Wingo, agronomist with First Farmers Co-op. Here today I'm going to give you a few points on soil sampling. Soil sampling is something you want to try to achieve every two to four years, depending on how much you plan on investing in a particular farm. Um, good timing for soil sampling is in the fall, so you'll have enough time to implement a alignment and fertilization plan before spring planting season gets here. The things you need for soil sampling is pretty simple. All you need is a bucket, some sample bags, and a soil sampling probe. Um, it's highly recommended to use a soil sampling probe for the accuracy that you'll get in your samples and your test results. Sampling probes and bags are available at your local co-op. Just swing by and pick one up. Um, the uh, importance of depth when you're trying to soil sample is you want to be anywhere between six to eight inches uh, but the most important thing of depth is just trying to be consistent across all your samples when you're sampling. Two different types of soil sampling methods would include composite and grid sampling. For composite sampling you want to have between 10 to 20 cores per every 20 acres for each sample. Uh, grid sampling when you're sampling on a point anywhere from four to eight cores per sample depending on the size of the grid. If you have questions about composite sampling methods versus grid sampling methods, or any other questions related to soil sampling, talk to your First Farmers agronomist. And as always, First Farmers Co-op is proud to be first on your farm.